Uh, earlier, we spoke with a pro-life member of parliament in Ireland. He weighed in on how the country is receiving President Biden and why the faithful have some questions, too. Joining us now from Ireland is Senator Ronan Mullen. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. We really appreciate it. So curious, um, how has President Biden's trip gone so far from your perspective? And what has the coverage been like? How has he been received there? I think this has been a highly successful visit for President Biden. Uh, Irish people are delighted to be getting such attention from the President of the United States. He's been there, here for, for three days. There's recognition that politicians on all sides in the U.S., Republicans and Democrats, have been great supporters of our Northern Ireland uh, peace agreement over the years. And, of course, it's the 25th anniversary of that Good Friday agreement that's the primary reason why he's here. So it's been a, a ticker-tape tape welcome for him. It, it also, of course, plays very well that he stresses his Irish roots. Um, in fact, he's stressing his Irish Catholicism in a particular way. Uh, he's going to be speaking in front of uh, St. Muradach's Cathedral in Ballina tonight with a cathedral in the background, making a, a private visit to, to Knock Shrine or Marion Shrine in County Mayo in the west of Ireland. Um, you, needless to say, the media have been pretty uncritical. No uh, contradictions in any of that have been explored with the president. The the shopkeepers are happy, the restaurateurs are happy, the hoteliers are happy. They're all hoping to see more of you as a result of this visit. And to be honest with you, from that point of view, from the point of view of promoting Ireland and strengthening the Good Friday Agreement, this has certainly been very good on all sides. Senator Mullen, I, I, I want to talk about the Good Friday Agreement. Before I get to that, though, I, I want to talk about President Biden's Catholic faith. I mean, you brought this up. Um, let's talk about, you know, what that played in his trip and also What's your response uh, to his highlighting his Catholic faith on this trip in particular? Well, well, to be honest with you, he's really gone in hard on this, a stressing concept of human dignity, the reminder of his parents to keep the faith, the visit to our Marian shrine, as I said, speaking with the cathedral in the background. There's obviously an electioneering side of this. It's not just the politician in me saying this, you know, in terms of uh, what his intentions are in terms of 2024. Um, the media don't, in Ireland, don't really want to explore that because, in a sense, they like a model of Catholic identity that's comfortable with aggressive pro-abortion policy, which would, I think, be the hallmark of the Biden administration. There haven't been any questions about the, the you know, the blind eye being turned to the, I think it's now 80 pro-life pregnancy care centers being attacked on your side of the Atlantic, uh, the pushing of abortion in connection with international development aid. I'm afraid we haven't had any of those questions, to be honest with you. It, it, there's been a uniform positive response. People either preferring to, to lay the stress on the positive, the Good Friday Agreement, the president's Irish roots are perhaps those with a more liberal political agenda liking it that way, that you have somebody here kind of modeling Catholicism without the challenging bits about respect for life, etc. Yeah. And of course, obviously, you're a pro-life lawmaker, you're Catholic, you're in Ireland right now. Um, you know, what is the state of the church in Ireland and also the pro-life movement? Where are you right now in Ireland? Well, in some ways, you see the resilience of the Catholic Church here, the desire of the president to associate himself, to wrap itself in that mantle, and, and, and people here are very happy with that aspect of the expression of Catholic identity. I suppose you could say the church is institutionally weak as well. It would have been impossible, I think, really, for any churchman here this week to in any way signal discomfort about the administration's policies on issues like abortion. So I suppose the more pragmatic approach is to say, look, every pilgrim is welcome. Uh, and, and, and to be honoured, which we should be, by a visit from the President of the United States. The pro-life movement, of course, is still recovering from the loss of our pro-life amendment uh, in 2018. People take great hope, of course, from the decision in the Dobbs case on your side. We all recognise, of course, that the challenge now is to find pro-life laws and adjustments that can endure. This is not going to be an overnight win for us. It's something that we all have to work to find laws that people can support and that gradually increase people's awareness again of the sanctity of every human life a mother and baby. And I'm glad to say that there are many young people in Ireland, not a majority, but many young people who are very energised around the pro-life cause and who are determined to build a better future, just like you have in America. Senator Mellon, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. We really appreciate it. God bless you.